Well, as a technology provider, we recognize that scales and automation are critical for our customers to compete. So new VHTS satellites having 20 times the bandwidth of legacy FSS satellite, they need to be more cost effective. And legacy ground systems are often applied to these systems and they don't really work. So this is why Kratos we've invited in our open space digital ground system platform to be able to effectively scale the ground system uh, for, for, for the VHTS satellite, just like the IT and the telecom industries have done before us. And so the way this is done is by digitizing the signals as soon as, as close as the antennas as possible, and then processing the signal in the cloud virtual network functions or apps that run on, generate, on generic x86 uh, comp compute hardware. And the good news is that this compute hardware is getting more and more efficient every day as the Moore's laws have been uh, explained a few years ago and it works really well. Well, we've heard this question many times and we, we don't believe this is the right question to ask. Uh, there, we, we can do minor uh, gains available by further optimizing the bandwidth utilization. But this, th this was really a, a challenge in the past. But really now with the new satellites, with the new uh, flexible and, uh, satellites, the bandwidth is so huge that it's not worth the effort anymore. What is really much more important is to increase the network efficiency. And then we can create more value for the satellite or the network operator. And you see that in the mobile industry where 4G or 5G have provided this uh, better uh, network efficiency and moving to a digital ground infrastructure, we, have, we are convinced that this will help to improve the efficiency. Well, the satellite is just very expensive now, very capable switch in the sky. That's really what it is. So this list leads to two new challenge, key challenges for the teleport executive to, to, ma to manage. The first one is the coordination of reconfiguring the satellite. Before the life was easy, the satellite was kind of frozen in configuration. Now it's fully flexible. Managing this flexibility is a challenge and for that Kratos is providing new technology to be able to manage the complexity for VHTS satellite, but also to take advantage of the multi-LEO MEO constellation and orbit. The second is the, manage, is the management of the service across different satcom networks, including different satellite orbits. And here again, the network, the telecom people have solved this issue with the SD-1, the Software Defined Network uh, Architecture. And we, Kratos, were bringing this uh, new flexible ways of managing network to the space industry. Our customer challenge now, as we see from conference to conference, is to counter and compete with Starlink and soon with Kuiper. These companies have unlimited resources and they don't seem to need to make a profit anytime in the near future. So the only way for satellite operator is to find their niche uh, to uh, provide specific uh, services to customers that this big uh, constellation can't do, but also to drive their costs down, to improve the service, to automate the service provisioning, to be able to be much more reactive to service requests. And we still be we believe that the digital transformation of the space, of the ground segment for space, is really the key, as has been demonstrated by other industries. <music>